Hi everyone, this is Janice, the Crafting Geek, and I actually have a my very first um, close to my heart video today. Um, what I'm doing is um, I, I just received my new consultant kit, and I was going through all the goodies, you know, within the new consultant kit, and within the kit came this pretty amazing book. Um, and I'm going to be honest, at first I looked at it and I kind of went, oh, I'll look at it later. And I wanted to get to all the, you know, the really goody stuff. But later on, I actually got a really close look at this book and realized how valuable it was um, in terms of card making. I am a predominantly a card maker. I do scrapbooking and, and other various projects. However... I think where my passion is within um, crafting is card making. So what I wanted to show you today was this book. Um, and I'll explain later on um, in the video why this book can be important to you. So what I did was I kind of go, went through it. And what's really nice, I'm hoping you can actually see this. Um, it tells you it's a really, it's just an amazing book. And it actually goes through and it tells you, especially if you're a beginner crafter, um, it tells you how to fold your card, how to find your papers, um, putting pattern papers and um, cardstock together, um, along with, you know, choosing embellishments. But this isn't the part that I was so impressed by. This is what I was impressed by. If you take a look at these pages, and I'm going to flip here for a second. If you take a look at these pages, what they have are um, just a really quick reference. And what it does, it tells you the size of your card that you're looking to make along with various different layouts. And then within those layouts, it actually directs you to a page of how to create those layouts. What, um, as a person that's pretty much a seasoned card maker, I tend to not follow um, templates myself. I tend to start crafting and putting things together and see how I like it. And it's usually a longer process. What I liked about this book, um, in particular, in particular, excuse me, the, um, originals book is that it takes the guesswork out of making cards. So what you really need to do is just kind of focus on what embellishments you're working on and what papers you're working on. And then you can kind of choose from a template. Now today, I actually chose a card that is um, just a really simple, and I really wanted to just put a quick card together and, and show you how easy it was to make it. Um, so I chose a really quick, based on the quick reference, I chose a center square card, and then it tells me what page to flip to. So I flip over, and here is the template itself. So it actually gives you... Um, a an example of how the card can look if you follow exactly their papers but the most important part was here it gives you <coughs> pardon me all your dimensions of what to cut each size now this happens to be a seven by five and a half or excuse me a seven by five inch card <coughs> excuse me I'm actually in the middle of a cold um, and what it does is it tells you how many what layers you need along with what to cut out. For instance, A is six and a th three quarters by four and three quarters, and B, which are the little pieces here, are two by two squares, and how many you need of them, and then there's a layer underneath that, and what size that is. So what I'm gonna do is I actually followed this cutting guide um, exactly, and the reason I did it is I had these really cute embellishments that I made um, myself, and when I made them, I just thought they were really cute, and I thought, oh, there's three of them. What can I do with them? And that's why I actually chose this three piece. So what I'm going to do is, it was so easy. Honestly, it took me minutes to make this card. So here's my card base, which is a seven by five inch card base, just a simple piece of cardstock. And then here's the next layer that it told me, which was, I'm going to pull this over here, which was six and three quarters by four and three quarters, simple. And then I just took a one of the um, a folder, um, an embossing folder from um, Darcy. I think Darcy, 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 
I always say that wrong. So anyway, I decided to um, emboss it for my first layer. And then I took just a simple, here the second one, which was, um, this is actually piece number C, or excuse me, letter C. And this is six and a quarter by two and a quarter. Now again, I'm going really fast with this, um, just to give you an idea of how quick it was to put this together. And then the third one, which is um, B, I should say the top layer, which is B, and it was three two by two squares, and all I did was run them through my Swiss Dot Cuddlebug folder. Um, and I forgive me, I don't know the name of this. Um, I didn't write it on there. Um, and that's going to be as simple as it is. Now what I'm going to do is just start embellishing. Um, so now all the cutting was easy. It was just really simple. So I'm going to do some a little bit of a distressing. Um, I'm going to use my Lagoon ink. Um, I wanted to pull some of the blue out, which was um, this beautiful, like, tealy sea green blue. And I just wanted to use my and I wanted to just emboss the edges just to kind of do a little bit of a pop. That was it. Because I just thought the colors, because the center color of my flower, it has this tone in it. So I just thought this would be really pretty. So I'm just going to do a quick emboss on all of them. And really simple. And again, it's not supposed to look perfect. This is a, a distressing technique, so you don't want it to look all perfect. I'm going to do every piece, including the gray. Now this won't have a stamped greeting. This was just a really simple card to um, just to show off those pretty flowers. And this would be a great note card. And then I'm going to use it on this one to pull in this green almost tonal and do the edge. Oops, here, let me get this out of the way. Here we go. And I'm going to do some tone on tone with this. Oh, forgive me. I am I'm suffering through a, a bout of bronchitis and with some sinus cold on top of it. So I'm not sounding my best. Um, and I, since I became a, a new, I'm a new consultant at um, Close to My Heart, obviously I don't have all of their products yet. However, I don't necessarily think I'm going to be a person that is strictly just using Close to My Heart. I, I kind of like using so many products just because there's so many awesome products out. Now what I'm going to do is just tape down the top. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I just put the tape on this, and I, forgive me. I did get a piece of, um, this is just a piece of white raffia that I wanted to wrap around. And you know what? I'm going to flip it over. I'll do a really quick, off to just one side since I'm going to be layering. Yes, I know there's tape on that. I will, it will come off my mat. Really simple. I didn't want to do anything, you know, any while. Just a real simple. So now I can put it onto my card base. Forgive me, I know this is upside down. Now what the, what's really nice is this even tells you to measure how far up from the bottom or the sides. Whoops. A little skewed here. Um, I'm hoping you can see this. There we go. There we go. And that's, oh, I did have, see, I made it. The good thing is it comes right back up. Simple. Now, cutting the card was easy. I just need to get it and focus and get it on straight. There we go. Much better. There, that's our top layer. That was our layer A, really simple, and that was the um, six and three quarters by the four and three quarters. The next layer is going to go right here, and I'm going to use my ATG gun for this. Use whatever adhesive that you prefer. I just tend to go for this, 
and put this directly in the center. Okay, really simple. And I'm going to use some dimensionals on these. Um, I thought it would be better to pop these up just a little bit. So let me get some dimensionals, put them in the corners. And again, this card is going to be done now, minus the time it took for me to make the flowers. This is going to be done really quickly. So let me get the second one on. And... Number three. Okay, one. Whoops. Oh, stuck to my fingers. These are pretty strong. Two, three, and four. Here we go. Okay, now these were the two by two. Now I'm going to put the first one in the middle um, just so I can get it equal on both sides. Oops. Let me get this out of the way. Um, now, I did say in the beginning, let me make sure that this is going to be correct here. That looks good. There we go. Let me get the other two. Um, in the beginning, I said that this book is, um, could possibly come to you. Um, and by that, I meant if you become a subscriber on my YouTube along with going to my blog and becoming a subscriber there just comment on the post that this will be um, this video will be on and if you I'll have a link to my online store if you place a $50 order in the month of April um, what I'll do is I will give this book away to one of the my customers um, I just think it's it's that it's just uh, the coolest um, book whoops I think I went off a little bit that's okay um, I just think it's one of the coolest books that I think I've seen in a while just because it just gave here we go I'll show this upside down there you go um, I just thought it was a really cool book um, I'm going to put a dimensional on the bottom of each one of these that I've seen in a while. I'm not one to ever go towards getting instructional books. I'm probably, that's the last thing that I do is ever going and choosing to get um, templates. I don't necessarily go for those uh, myself just because I, I'm, I guess, you know, my mom always called me a free spirit. You know, I was always one to do my own thing. So um, in that respect, I just thought, uh, I don't like to be, have constraints, but this one, honestly, this was probably really, one of the really cool ones. So what I am going to do is I have a bunch of these little, whoops, rhinestone dots here. And I just wanted to put three of them in the centers. Um, I know I did color in those flowers, but I just thought it needed a little. Everything needs bling, you know? <laughs> um, again, I apologize for my voice. Oh, my gosh. I know my voice sounds horrible. So let me get this out of the way. So let me get these. Put these on. I'm using a little bit of my liquid glass. Love this stuff. Starting to really love this stuff. I probably put in too much there. Here we go. Second one. Um, there we go. Now, um, this was really just as an example. Again, you can use this particular template for any. I mean, my my particular card is vastly different from the card that is in, if you take a look. This is the book, and this is my card. It is very different. However, 
it is exactly the same template. They're the exact same dimensions and you can, it just shows you how different you can make something look. So um, if you want to obtain one of these books for free, have a chance of getting one of these books for free, I really recommend, um, or just picking one up yourself. I mean, you can always go to my um, uh, craftinggeek.blogspot.com. I'll have all the links below. Don't worry. Um, please click. But become a subscriber. And if you place a $50 order within the month of April, um, not only will you qualify for the stamp of the month for $5, which is pretty amazing itself, it's um, it's a $17.95 stamp set. You will get it for $5, but you will also be in the drawing for this book. Um, it's just, to me, this book is just worth its weight in gold. Again, it is just... Oh, and then the one thing I, I didn't mention from this book, if you take a look towards the back, this is great for people that do not have a Cricut uh, or a die-cutting machine, excuse me, of any kind. What they do is, <coughs> pardon me, they give you templates. And there's templates for all the projects in this book. You do not need any type of cutting machine. You just need scissors, a paper, and embellishments, and um, an adhesive. And that is it. You can make every card in this book just based on that. It gives you, even for um, the various different um, uh, cards, it gives you templates for your tags. It gives you templates for everything. Look at this. This is even just a little gift card holder. This is just so cute. I mean, this alone, I mean, just imagine how many gift card holders. And you don't need, again, like I said. Now, what I did was, <coughs> pardon me, I actually created the templates from all those, you know, you get all these things in the store and they have the plastic. I just used those and created my templates from those. And then now they're see-through. <coughs> Pardon me. So now they're see-through. And this is one of the sides that were actually in here. I just cut it out. Now, my marker may not be straight, but the cuts are straight. And I can just cut around these. And I can create all of the cards that these go back to. So, again, if you are interested in this book, um, and you are interested in actually purchasing this book, please go to my... Um, website you'll be able to place an order there and get this into your hands because honestly you will love it and the other thing is if you place a $50 order and you don't purchase this this time round you may have a chance at actually winning this book so I will give away um, one of these books to one of um, my customers during the month of April so if you want a, a chance Head on over to my blog and take a look, and I wish you a happy crafting day, and I will be um, with you soon with, I'm sure, another video with all the awesome Close to My Heart products that are, um, that are in my kit, and hopefully some new and unique um, cards that come out of this book I will be making again in the future. So have a wonderful crafty day, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.